You may have heard this talk before, maybe not as extensive like this, but maybe in your residency program, or maybe you took a course from a coder or um, a billing consultant. Now, we're a little different because we're not just coders, we're not consultants, we're physicians. We know both sides of this. Not only do we bill for services, we know the medicine part. So when we consult other practices or when we look at other physicians' notes, we don't just look at the note and say, oh, that was 99213, it should have been 99214. No, what we do, we look at the patient's chart and we look at medical conditions and we look for things that should be built in the future that are not there yet. For instance, what you'll discover, the most commonly uh, omitted procedure that all of us can do is actually an EKG. It's very simple, we all have it. Almost all of our patients will need it because almost everyone has hypertension and hypertension leads to LVH, it's the most common cause of AFib, so yeah, it's very good for you to do an EKG for a patient who needs it. It's very important to do a service that's necessary. You only need to do something that is, of course, required medically. We're not gonna tell you do something that the patient doesn't need, but it's important to code for something that's needed, that will improve patient care, that will improve your reimbursement. When we see patient, uh, let's say an amitriptyline, we tell them, listen, there's no EKG code, you need to do that. If somebody has asthma and there is no code for pneumovax, well, all asthmatics need to have a pneumovax immunization, you get paid for that, you get value from it, it does have an RVU attached to it, work RVU, so it's very important to do that and that's what we do, that's why we're different than any other consultant and I think that's why what you're gonna see here today will be very relevant to your practice.